Hey, what is up, guys? So I found this software called Vista Sculpt. It's an AI software that generates detailed depth maps of images to create a 3D representation of the images. The results they show on their YouTube channel are amazing, but cherry-picked. Also, this software is way too expensive for what it is. I have studied the results this software produces, and I think I know how to achieve similar results for free. So I thought I'd show you how to do it in this video. So let's start. I have this image right here of four different things. Thought it would give you a good idea of the results you get by using my workflow. I will first show you the result VistaSculpt gives you from this image, as a reference of what we are trying to achieve here. So this is the VistaSculpt result. Um, it looks good, but it doesn't work that well on the man's face, as you can tell. This is what I mean by cherry-picked. They only show the most impressive results on their YouTube channel. So now I'm going to show you how to get a similar result for free. All right, so the first step is to generate the depth map of the image you want. I will use depth anything for this, but you can use any depth map generator you want. So um, I just type depth anything web demo in the search bar, then click on the hugging face link that says by Lee Hyung. Then I upload the image I want and click the submit button. Then I download the depth map. All right, so now let's open a new scene in Blender. Delete everything from your scene, then add a plane. Select the plane and go into the edit mode. Then subdivide the plane a hundred times. I changed my mind and subdivided my plane five times more, just to get a decent amount of polygons. Now go into the shading tab, add a new material, and add an image texture. Connect the node to the base color and open your original image. Now go back to the layout tab. So now we are going to add a modifier. Um, the modifier we are going to use is called Displace. Click on New, make sure the coordinates are set to UV, then go to this checkered button and open the depth map you generated. Go to this menu up here again to disable the texture. This makes it easier for us to see what we are doing. Go to the modifier options again and set the direction to Z. You can adjust the strength here if you want, then click Apply. Now go into Sculpt mode and use the smoothing tool. Make the radius of the brush very large and set the strength to max. Then just click on the plane a couple of times to smooth it out. This is just to get rid of the ugly ridges. Um, now go into object mode again, then add a new displace modifier. This time we are going to open the original image. Set the strength to 0 0.05 and the direction to Z. Make sure the coordinates are set to UV. When you are happy with the results, click apply. And now we have achieved a very similar result to what VistaSculpt generates. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.